SR93 boxing back with a quick video. Has Amir Khan got worse or better? Now, it's all, you know, it's, for some people, the obvious answer would be yes, Amir Khan has gone better, obviously, with the um, help of Virgil Hunter. And before I get into my thoughts, you know, not everyone shares that opinion, you know. Some people say Amir Khan has gone a bit too slow, but obviously that was kind of proven wrong. He was a bit more patient. Um, they say Amir Khan wasn't as active. You know what? Roy Jones Jr. himself like seemed to have preferred the previous Amir Khan before he went to Virgil Hunter than the new one. Amir Khan wa um, was a better pressure fighter, in my opinion, against Freddie Roach. He would move around the ring uh, more. Not necessarily, you know, smart movement, but just movement. And that can cause a lot, that alone can cause a lot of problems to a lot of fighters. He would throw a lot of bunch of punches and he would, he would actually commit to a lot of punches. Like, I don't know if you noticed, like, Khan against Maidana, Khan against um, Judah. Um, he would commit to a lot of punches. He would throw punches with conviction, you know. Um, at 147 against Virgil Hunter, he does commit at times. But, you know, he's not as much. He's not that type of a pressure fighter no more. He doesn't come forward that aggressively anymore. And, but, you know, um, I feel like the American prior to Freddie Roach could have done better against Algeria. Even though I do believe that um, that American against Algeria was uh, not the best version of American. I think American could have done better against Algeria. Either one of the version of American. But I think American with Freddie Roach could have done a little bit better with Algeria because, you know, as someone who doesn't fare well when he's backed up with a lot of pressure, I think, you know, American was that type of pers that type of fighter, like effective pressure, kind of effective, like pressure at long range, very fast. But it's not easy to catch him either. You know, that type of fighter will give Algeria a lot of problems. So, you know, that's kind of what I think of American back before, but I, I still feel like this is another question. Actually, I forgot, let me address this first. You know, American was really um, a sucker for left hooks. He was always, every time he got dropped before the, um, the Canelo fight, he was getting caught with left hooks. Every time he got dropped, pretty much, the, the time he got, um, the, the time he did not get dropped by a left hook was a right hand from a Danny Garcia. It wasn't one of the third knockdowns. And to be honest, that knockdown should have been ruled a slip. Because, um, yeah, it should, it should have been ruled. If you look carefully, it should have been ruled a slip. But either way, Amekhan was, like, he got caught with right hands here and there. But he was, and he got caught with right hands against Madonna. So, you know, right hands was something that it's not like it's hard to catch a person with. But American could get, like, you know, American right hand is not really the punch that you normally look at. But, you know, anyone can get caught with a straight backhand. The thing is, a lot of people were focusing, and some people, actually not a lot of people, some people were focusing their attention on, oh shit, look, against um, um, Chris Algieri, he didn't get caught with a lot of left hooks. Like Khan didn't. But, like, because in the previous fights against Freddie Roach, he would get caught, like, uh, while he was with Freddie Roach, he would get caught with a lot of left hooks. Now he kind of fixed that. He didn't get caught with too many left hooks against Algeria, but he was getting caught with a lot of right hands. And then people put attention on the Canelo fight as well. Look, Khan's been getting caught with that right hand, and they put him to sleep. I think Adrian Broner made a video of um, Khan... Getting caught with Algeria at 147 and then get caught with Canelo and he showed the difference. Obviously in Canelo fight he got dropped and like out. He was out completely. So you know American is who he is. He has flaws, but you know, the the, the fact of the matter is I still feel that again um under Virgil Hunter, American is a better fighter. I think he got caught with a right hand against Algeria, but it was just a bad night. He couldn't move out of the way. Like one thing he does do too much is he pauses with that um, left hand. Virgil Hunter taught, uh, he kind of, Andrew Ward does that a bit. Andrew Ward does uh, kind of use his hand, especially his uh, left hand, to divert the punches away. Especially, like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you watch Andrew Ward fight, if you, like, his opponent, who's like, a, imagine an orthodox fighter, throws a right hand, he kind of uses his left hand to kind of move it more right 
like you kind of Andrew kind of uses his left hand to move it right, so he kind of pulls with it to kind of dodge punches. And Mekong kind of does that as well, but he's not with that. He's kind of good at times, but he's not good as Andrew Ward with that. So you know, at times when he, when he does that, he does get caught against Algeria. He got caught a few times like that against uh, Canelo. He got a few times, I think a couple times before he um, got knocked out cold, and then obviously like he did that. Although that was a bit of a setup, that was a really good setup from Canelo, you know. And then Kong got caught. The thing is, I still think, like, if you think, look at the Canelo fight, he didn't get caught with a lot of right hands. He really didn't. And he definitely didn't get caught with a lot of really, really, he got caught with a few hard left hooks, but Canelo's an elite fighter, what do you expect? He has to land a few left hooks. I mean, that's one of his best punches. And you know, Khan took it well, but thing is, like, I feel like Khan is improved. He doesn't get caught with a lot of punches like that. He is smart with his movement. He's 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 smart, man. Against the Canelo fight, he was impressed. Even though he got knocked out, I was still impressed. And um, that's kind of what I want to say, you know, because me and my friend were arguing about whether Khan was a better fighter against a uh, better fighter under Virgil Hunter or Roach. And you know, I just thought I would want to send that out there, um, just give, just give my thoughts, because you know, when something's running in your mind, you just feel like sharing it, and I just thought I'd share it um, on into YouTube. So, yeah, man, that's what I think of it. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment and comment below. Like the video if you want to hate hate the video, whatever. But do share and subscribe. Peace.